Hello, my name is Tobias, and I will show you how to set up the Medea Pour to Split on your window. On French balconies, the outdoor unit is attached to the railing using the universal bracket. To do this, you need the following things. The protection plate, the universal bracket, part numbers 1, 2, and 4. The universal bracket is not included and must be purchased separately. Six screws, the steel cable, two Velcro strips, the window lock. Part one of the window bracket must be attached to the back of the outdoor unit using four screws. Make sure that the bracket is screwed on with the number facing upwards. Part 2 and Part 3 are connected when delivered. Swap Part 2 for Part 4 so that the bracket can be hung on the railing later. We recommend setting the bracket as short as possible. Connect both parts with two screws. To secure the window bracket when attaching, hook the steel cable onto the window bracket. Guide the steel cable over the railing and attach it to the indoor unit. Now you can put the window bracket on the railing. Check that the steel cable runs under the railing when the bracket is attached. Fasten the bracket with Velcro strips. This will reduce vibrations during operation. Now you can push the outdoor unit into the window bracket up to the stop point. Make sure that both guide rails run exactly into each other. Close the window. The back of the Porta Split indoor unit must be at least 25 centimeters away from the wall during use to ensure adequate ventilation of the device. The window lock prevents the window from opening uncontrollably and allowing too much outside air to enter. It consists of two parts that are self-adhesive. The part with the Velcro strip is attached to the window frame, the other part to the window sash. The opening must face upwards. Position both parts so that the window can be closed as far as possible when the device is in place. You can now turn on your porta splits. The condensation that occurs with all air conditioning systems is automatically transported to the outdoor unit with the porta split and simply drips off the base plate. If necessary, the draining water can be diverted using the drainage pipe. To deinstall the Porta Split, turn off the device, unplug it, and roll up the power cable on the back of the indoor unit. Place the protection plate on the indoor unit. Lift the outdoor unit out of the bracket and place it on the indoor unit. If the bracket can remain outside, simply close the window. Otherwise, loosen the Velcro straps on the bracket and lift the bracket inwards. Now you can remove the steel cable. You can find further information about your Porta Split and additional accessories in the enclosed manual.